Hello, and welcome to our discussion on spectrum bias. In any test, the evaluators want a wide range of patients to represent the general population. Therefore, the right population encompasses those who have a diagnostic uncertainty. Once this is established, a diagnostic test is examined to see how well it can distinguish between those who have a target condition and those who do not. Spectrum bias occurs when the population differs from this ideal, meaning that the evaluators only tested a very specific population, for example, a very sick population or healthy population, or an all-male population or an all-female population. If a test were to recruit participants who were very sick with cardiovascular disease and normal healthy individuals, this representative population would be on two separate ends of the spectrum. So for example, let's say I have a test that is able to predict heart attacks. I take it to a football training camp. And when everyone that tests negative does not have a heart attack, I assume that the test accurately classifies the diagnostic category. Now, if I take that same test to individuals at a hospital who are sick and have had heart attacks, and then all the people there that test positive end up having a heart attack, again, I can assume that the test has high levels of diagnostic accuracy. However, my study contained high levels of spectrum bias because the test was used with specific populations and did not use it in a representative sample of the population.